My father died with a ruptured appendix when he was in his 30s. And my mother died while I was in basic training. She was a good woman, good mother. I could see her now standing up at the top of the stairs and, and uh, you know, crying. And I, you know, I had to go, that's all, so I went. Sergeant Edward Dahlgren joined the Army in 1944. His mother was surely watching over him as he began an epic 341-day tour that would take him to all corners of the dangerous European front, from the liberation of Rome to the tiny village of Oberhofen, France, a small country town infested with German troops. We went to the rescue of the second platoon. Because they were, they were cut off from, from the rest of us. And we also needed to clean out the Germans that were had defensive positions. I had the third platoon. We weren't hardly full strength. We uh, attacked about dawn. We were going across the field, and the Germans opened fire. And we lost people going across there. And then we got into the village, into the city, or so-called. The, uh, everything happened. When you first got there, I went into a building there, and there was a window. Here were probably a dozen Germans coming across the field that were going to come into the town. So I uh, opened fire through the window and killed half a dozen, probably. And they gave up some of them. The second first thing that happened in that town. Well, we, uh, we kept going down the street, and the Germans were had machine guns in the different buildings, these machine gun nests. You'd run from this building, firing your weapons to the next building. It was real nerve wracking. The Germans would, as we was going down the street, they'd counterattack, and they and some of my men were would get hit. I had responsibility to look after the men. I, I never last asked anybody to go ahead of me first. I'd go lead. So I went ahead, going down that street, knocking those machine gun nests so. And I thought it had to be done. And I was going to try to do it. With the lives of so many Americans on the line, Sergeant Dahlgren fearlessly launched himself into battle. He drew fire from enemy-held houses as he advanced along the street and responded with organized, aggressive counterattacks that killed many enemy soldiers and forced almost four dozen more to surrender. Throughout the chaos, he remained a potent leader, keeping his men organized and efficient even in the face of great danger. Fought about all day there, killed a lot of people, and wounded and captured a lot of them. Probably saved a lot of lives, and uh, after a while, in six or eight hours, we made contact with the second platoon. So that mission accomplished. Dahlgren's tour of duty lasted for nearly a full year, more than two thirds of which were spent in active combat on the front lines. And they said we were there in combat 340 days. One thing about being in combat a long while that way. And after a while, you, you took chances that probably you shouldn't have taken. Every time we'd start out on a, an attack, us older ones, we'd say, well, today we probably get it. And after a while, that would wear on you. And I, when I come back from overseas, I weighed 135 pounds. Not much left. <laughs> I was happy to be through combat. That's a weight lifted off me. I wouldn't have to be, I wasn't, wouldn't have to be frightened then. Just because you, anybody got the Medal of Honor, no mean they were not, weren't frightened. And I was, and like and all of them were. Medal of Honor means uh, a lot to me. About doing a good job and doing what I'm supposed to do. I don't consider myself a hero. No. I mean, you, can't, you don't do these things alone. We're all, all in it together. Uh, I was lucky. 
other ones get hit, and you never, never got hit or anything. And all the people you captured and killed. That comes back to haunt you. Know? The Germans were, they were our enemy, but they were good soldiers. They, they, they didn't want to be there any worse than we did. From either kill or be killed, and so on, right? Yeah.